Hi there. Welcome to City Skylines for Beginners. This is tutorial 37, and I'm going to try and put a uh, notice in a tutorial 20B uh, telling people to come here and look at this one once they get to 20B if they haven't gotten there yet. And the reason for that is this tutorial is going to be dedicated to death waves something I should have explained to you in tutorial 20. Um, I got a heads up from Douglas, who I'm assuming, who was watching 20 and left me a comment asking about it. So I'm assuming that he was playing along like a lot of you are. And uh, unlike me, a lot of you are probably playing in the city a little bit, besides just doing what I tell you to do, and then going on to the next tutorial, you're actually stopping at each one and playing around and, you know, spending more time in your game as uh, we create it than I spend just showing you how to use it. And in the process of doing that, you've given your city more time for people to grow up, get older, become seniors, and die. Death waves happen in this game. Um, this game is uh, very literal and it copies reality and in real life people grow old, get born, grow old, and die. So, and, and because of the way we do our cities, um, You'll, um, first off, I'll tell you that, that uh, if you look at this city, it's not, you don't need to open up your city for this. Uh, this is not our, our city game that we're doing in the tutorial. This is, this is a, a, a height map download series that I'm starting. And this is a city that I just created out of the height map to do research um, on contamination of water pump stations that are near industry to see how close I can get them and still keep the city healthy. So that's what this one is for. And it won't look anything like yours. But it is getting ready in my time uh, to have a death wave, which my tutorial game that I'm playing with you of course, is not doing because I'm not in it as long as you are. So, that said, um, I will explain a couple of things to you about, you know, the realities of life in city skylines. We all, uh, when we start our game, we generally put in some um, residential, which and a little commercial to keep them happy, which we have done down here. If you go in and click on residential, you can see that my first group was this group coming off the main freeway. And it was residential, high and low, and some commercial. And it went about this far. And that group right there was my first group. Okay. Now, uh, then they wanted industry. So, of course, I came over here and did some industry. And then industry started hollering for more workers. So, like we all do, I went over here and started a second group. And then industry hollered again. So, I went over here. Actually, I went over here. off the freeway. This was first group. This was second group. Uh, we got another request for workers from industry and co and commercial by that time. Um, and so this line of residences went in and it was fine for a while. And then industry and commercial started hollering for more workers. So I put in more residential down in this line just like all of you probably will do in your games. We put our people in <clears throat> in chunks. And in those chunks, uh, the first group, which is looks like this one, if you go to the buildings, 
I'll get out of this. If you go to the buildings in the first group and you click on them, you will see that there are nine seniors, 15 adults, four seniors, seven adults, seven seniors, 15 adults, 10 seniors, 13 adults, five seniors, 19 adults. What I'm trying to show you is all of these houses have more adults than seniors. They've just, you know, it's young folks have moved in, they have some kids, they have some teenagers, and maybe mom and dad are in there with them, but that's all. Okay? Those adults themselves have not become seniors. As you watch this group, if you actually watched the houses or picked a house, you would notice that right now it has, well, it's not a good example. Let's go to one that just has a house. Okay. Find us a house here. Well, even these are getting ready to go to death watch. So, okay. So, this is a good one. It has six adults, three children, and one teen, and no seniors. As you watch this house, it will suddenly have four, five adults and one senior instead of six adults. And the teen will have become a young adult and one of the children will have become a teen. You'll actually watch these people, if you, if you pick a house and watch it, you can actually watch these people get older. Pretty soon those six adults will turn into two adults and four seniors. And then it'll be all the kids are gone and you've got one adult and five seniors and pretty soon you got nothing but seniors and here comes your death wave because everybody in this neighborhood was brought in at the same time. They're all about approximately the same age. They're going to age at approximately the same rate. So this whole group is going to get older together. Uh, same thing for this group, same thing for this group. Now this group is my oldest group and if you look at them you can see that we have in this group 15 seniors in this building, 7 adults, 8 young adults which you didn't have any of down on the on the younger group um, that we just went through, 8 teens and only 2 children. This one has 11 seniors, 10 adults, 8 young people, 11 teens, 1 child. This one has 8 seniors, 8 adults, 12 young adults, 6 teens, no children. This one has, well, it's not a good example. Um, this one has 11 seniors, 3 adults, 3 young adults, 5 teens, no children. This one has 16 seniors, 7 adults, 15 young adults, 5 teens, and 4 children. This is a complex. Okay. The reason I'm showing you this is so that you can see that in this group that went in first, these people have all started getting old. This entire line here, which is a very large line of people, is getting ready for a death wave. So the seniors are going to get older and pretty soon they're going to die. Now I have crematoriums in there. If you go down to healthcare and you click on crematoriums, you'll see where they are by the purple in the buildings here. There's one over here, there's one over here, there's one down here in the corner, and there's one over here. In order to prepare for a death wave, the first thing that you do, usually the very first thing you do anytime you put in, I didn't, anytime that you put in crematoriums is you put in two, not one. So I'm just going to plop another one here if I can get it to take it. Because in each of these spots you should have two crematoriums. And there's a reason for that, which I will explain to you in just a second. As soon as I get all of these put in, this is what you do. You just put in two in every spot 
where you want to have a crematorium, you put two of them in. They're black when they haven't run yet, and since I have the city on, there we go, since I have the city on hold, they're going to stay black until I turn it on, and I'm not ready to do that yet because I have more to explain to you. And we're already at 10 minutes, so I should probably explain it quickly. Now, the first thing that you do is you go through and you turn off one of each of these crematoriums. Again, they're easier to find if you go down here and do this. And I'm going to turn off one of each of the two crematoriums in each location. Okay, so you can do that by going up to the top of your little box when you click on it. Um, and next to where it says its name, it has an on-off switch. You can do that with anything. Well, I don't think houses have it, but <clears throat> or industry or commerce, but the things that are city services, you can. Now, that has gone in there, uh, but that is not the only thing that you do. What, when you have... When you have these crematoriums, these secondary crematoriums in here, because uh, if you're if you're in easy mode like we are, you can just leave them turned on. We don't care what how much we spend. But if you're in hard mode and you're gonna be as you go along, you're gonna want to play hard mode. Uh, we all do. And so when you get into hard mode, you're gonna want to turn the second one off because every penny counts. Um, another thing that you want to do to be ready for a death wave is to go down here to the big green brick, which is economy, click on it, and then go up to budget, which is the second tab over, and then go down to your uh, hospitalization, health care, the, the red circle, um, and you'll notice that you're uh, spending 100%. Well... When there is not a lot of stuff going on, which you can check up here, you can check and see how much health care you need. If you have a heal capacity of 400, six citizens are at 20, you're good to go. If you have <clears throat> in the death care tab uh, only 57 deceased and you have a capacity for 420 and you don't see a bunch of skulls in your city and you have checked all of your houses and or at least a, a good group of them in each area that you plopped down um, and there there aren't any seniors then you're not going to have a death wave yet so you don't need to increase the budget but if you have a lot of seniors and you or you see a lot of skulls either one it's time to get ready and what you do to get ready is easy mode or hard mode you you get down here and you have a night economy and a day economy okay on each of these bars and I always just move the day and night all the way up and you'll take it up from maybe 100%, which is where it starts, to about 125, 126, just to be ready for the death, death wave. Now, when the death wave actually hits and you start seeing skulls, you go in immediately, and you're going to be watching this. Now that you have a lot of scenes, you're going to be watching closely. And when the death wave actually hits, you bring it all the way up to 150%. But you can start at 125, 130, so that you're not spending too much, especially if you're in hard mode. Okay. Again, that's down here in the green brick on your icons, and then in the budget tab, just to run through that for you again. So now we'll go ahead and turn it on. And oh, and when when uh, when you're getting ready for a death watch. Uh, as soon as it hits, you go in and you turn on all of your secondary crematoriums because you're going to need them. 
So I'm not going to turn them on yet, just yet because I want you to be able to see. I should go turn this one back off. See, right now we don't have any skulls, but they're going to they're going to hit us any time now. I'm going to put it on fast mode. I'm going to show you the city now with there's one dead skull over way over there and it'll get taken care of because we do have crematoriums working we have four of them going but you'll see that there are no skulls yet these seniors haven't gotten quite old enough to pass away so i'm going to put you on hold now until the death until until the death wave starts happening then i'll bring you back in holding Okay, it's been about an hour, and I'm still waiting for the death wave to hit. The seniors are still hanging in there. <clears throat> I, I did forget to tell you one thing to explain to you why you're setting your budget up so that you have 125 or so percent of uh, the budget instead of only 100 for your uh, medical <clears throat> health care area, which is what the crematoriums are in um, when you have a crematorium let's see if I can find one here I know we have a couple down here okay you've got a crematorium here that has nine hearses available it's only using two another one that has nine hearses available it's only using zero because right now there aren't any dead people but um, when there are a need for the hearses you don't get to use all nine of these that it says the, the crematorium has unless it has money to pay drivers to take the hearses out and that's why you have to increase the budget so that the crematoriums have more money to pay more people to do well pick up and delivery um, so at a hundred percent you've got maybe six or seven hearses each at um, 150% you get all nine hearses out there in each crematorium makes a huge difference and that's why you want to you know raise your uh, your budget amount once you start into having a uh, a death wave because that way you have more hearses being driven out of your uh, crematoriums. Okay, putting you back on hold, waiting for the people to pass away. Holding. Okay, here we go. So now we have a death wave. Uh, I had to turn off some more of the crematoriums in order to get one, but because it's been an hour. Uh, but now you can see how you've got all these skulls in here. There are people all over waiting to be picked up. If we move forward on this one, this will turn into a whole lot more. When you see the big skull, you know that you've got even more to deal with. See, like that big one there? If you move forward towards it, it becomes a whole lot of little ones. Okay? Same thing here. Big skulls become lots of little skulls if you just get close enough. So we've got, we've got a, death wa a death wave going on here now. Finally. So I can show you what you do. Okay, first thing you do, put your game on hold and go to all of the crematoriums. Click on your uh, health care section so you can see where they are. Go to every crematorium that is turned off. You, you can see there's two there and there's two over here. So once you have them located, you go down to each one and turn it on. And there's another one over here, two of them over here that are turned off. You turn those two on. I believe there was one here somewhere. We'll have to look for it though. There it is. Okay, see there's one black one here. That's that's what they look like when they're turned off. Is instead of the big purple mark on them, they're black. 
uh, you have to turn off the medical alert thing down here to be able to actually go in and click on it and turn it off. Well, it doesn't look like I got that one, so we'll try it again. On, on. Oh, it just hasn't had time. Oh, oh, because I, I don't have the... There we go. We'll turn that on for a second, then turn it back off, the pause button. Then when you cl click this, all the ones that you turned on are are purple. Okay, so these over here are turned off because they're black. Turn off the healthcare goodie down here and go in and click on each one. Turn it on. Now it's still going to show black when you come down here because you haven't undone the pause button. So go down here and undo the pause button. There you go. Turn it back off once it goes to purple because you're not done yet. Get up here and take a look and see if you have any others that are off. You've got I've got one more down here. I'm going to go down and turn it on. This is why you have two everywhere. I'll go down and turn that on. Okay. Now, that takes care of everybody's turned on, but they don't necessarily have enough drivers, right? So we go down, next thing we do is we go down to the green brick at the bottom, click on the economy brick, go up to, you're not in taxes, you're not in loans, you're in budget tab, and then go to the uh, hospital medical um, alert red thingy over here and take that all the way up to 150. Okay, now that you've got your medical up high and all of your crematoriums turned on, now you can go ahead and unpause your pause button. And you'll see that all of a sudden, all of your, uh, if you put it on medical up here at the top so that you don't have a crematorium trying to be built, you'll see that these guys will start disappearing because the crematoriums will have enough um, hearses to go out and pick all those up. And the death wave disappears as the crematorium trucks, cars get out there, the death wave goes away. You see them all disappearing. Okay. Hey, your city is free of the death wave. That's how you handle a death wave. Be prepared for it. Keep watch so that you know when it's happening, make sure you already have all of your facilities in but turned off so that when the death wave hits, you can just go turn everything on, raise your budget, and it's taken care of. Now, before you take your budget back down, you do want to go and check. You've still got 19 seniors here. you still got 10 there. you still got 3 there. So you might, once the death wave has been taken care of, want to go back and uh, you have to, now this is on health care, so this purple that we're seeing here is really the clinic. We need to go over to death care and then we can see all of our crematoriums. So now that the wave has finished, and we no longer have skulls, we can go turn off maybe two and see if if it doesn't hurt to have those turned off. We'll turn these two off. They're kind of extras anyway. And then you watch for a bit, and if you see more skulls, you can turn them back on. And if you don't see more skulls, then you can go and turn off 
one more and you do this you know until you start seeing that there are skulls popping back up and then you turn one back on and if that shows that there are no skulls popping back up you know you're okay for a while until the next group of seniors gets old and starts passing away so that's how you handle your death waves and I'm at 25 minutes and I have got to stop this tutorial so I hope that helped all of you I'm sorry I didn't put that information right behind number 20 um, I should have my bad um, and thank you Douglas for giving me the heads up otherwise I would have probably been into tutorial 50 before somebody said something so I'm gonna end this tutorial now and I hope that helped everybody and uh, thanks again Douglas for checking in with the, at the comment section and giving me a heads up bye